I will start with a story. One of the biggest decision making failure happened when Kodak made the choice of not to commercialize the digital photographic technology that it invented in the 80s because it feared that it will destroy its film sales. Well, Kodak filed for bankruptcy in 2012. So why did I start today's episode with this story? Well, you all have guessed by now. Today's topic of visual thinking for business is nothing but decision making. Hi there, this is Tridip and you are watching a brand new episode of Learn with Tridip Decision Making. Before I start today's episode, I would definitely want to ask you all how you are coping up in this lockdown situation. How is your business doing? Hope all members of your family and loved ones are safe and healthy. Do take utmost care for them. So let's dive in to see what we have in today's episode. But before that, I would like to request you to like, share and comment on this video. If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get instant notifications. So we all make decisions, right? Almost every day. Some of them are life-changing choices, while some are not so important ones like which dress to wear for a party or what to order from the menu. Well, if you are aware of the technology world, nowadays bots are also helping us to decide what the pundits call as artificial intelligence or AI. Whether it is an opportunity or threat, we will discuss in a separate video, not today. But we are all certain that we do not want to make a wrong choice. The way we visualize and structure information has a clear effect on the outcome of our decision making process. Visual thinking gives us a great opportunity to improve decision making processes. When discussing decision making process, what comes in mind first is who does the decision making? When and where does it occur? And what actually happens in a decision making process? Well, decision making in an organization happens around its structure. Typically, the top level management like the CEO, CFO, CEO takes the organization decision making calls. However, every day working process decisions are taken even by the managers and team leads. Decision making mostly happens in formal management team meetings. It can happen weekly, monthly, quarterly or yearly depending upon the levels of decision making. Also, ad hoc decision making can happen when daily meetings need to be decided. Typically, business decision making is supported by fact based techniques or rationalized decisions and to reduce the limitations of human nature. Rational decision making involves three steps. Determine your objectives, evaluate the options, select the best option or options. Care should be taken to reduce the chances of spaghetti thinking. We have to also be careful about the feasibility, acceptability, suitability and profitability of each decision. Today I will talk about three of my favorite visual thinking techniques that can help any organization looking for decision making processes. The first of the techniques is thinking hats. The six thinking hats concept was designed by Edward de Bono. This asks everyone to look through the same hat together in a particular sequence. This avoids the natural tendency for mixed or muddled spaghetti thinking. Like one person drops his creative idea, the green hat, someone reacting emotionally, red hat, or someone thinking objectively, white hat. You can also group the hats for cross-pollination like optimistic or pessimistic. After people get used to these hats, their engagement increases. It also removes ego and reduces confrontation.
OCT or option comparison table is a great technique that allows us to see large amount of information about various options simultaneously. It also helps us to group and compare and see relationships between the attributes. It allows us to use symbols, color or types of filling to make the comparisons more intuitive like smileys, Harvey balls, traffic lights, etc. I will draw and show you various ways to compare. Harvey balls Like, dislike, ratings, Calendar, days, months, right or wrong. energy level Hot or cold? emotions and smiles. This is how a typical option comparison table is drawn.
well this one many of us are already aware of a decision tree is a great way of visualizing potential options and their consequences it is often used to provide decision makers with guidance or even a protocol we first have to identify the key decision we want to make and phrase is as question this is a root node each path from the root node describes future sequences like did my prospect reach my funnel if yes did they purchase my product if yes send them a thank you mail immediately or if they saw but didn't purchase then put them in a separate email list and retarget them decision tree also helps us in determining the budget needed in each steps by analyzing a decision tree we can very well find out which path needs to be tweaked So that's all folks hope we have learned something new today see you in a brand new episode of learn with pradeep soon where i will cover how to explore markets and collect customer insights if you like the video please please like share and comment on the video if you are new to this channel please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications instantly thanks again for watching this video stay safe and sound keep learning and keep watching learn with pradeep goodbye